This is the Penitent Magdalene by El Greco, and it was painted around 1585. And when we acquired it, it was in bad condition but had been restored. And that bad condition is based on the fact that it was probably over-restored earlier. So it's always been an important restoration for us to look towards. When I started the restoration, the painting was very dull and the earlier work had discolored and didn't match. And so the cleaning itself was actually very tedious and took a good eight or nine months. And the biggest part of that time was using the microscope to remove bit by bit the earlier restoration. And after I finished, all that was left on the canvas was El Greco's work. The process of rebuilding is called in-painting, and that's where we use a tiny brush and apply the paint that I mix only to the losses. And the sky was so badly abraded, I found that the reason for that was El Greco just put a very thin wash of paint. And when someone came in hundreds of years ago with solvents that were too strong, they took off this very thin paint. And I rebuilt it the way that El Greco painted it, first by knitting together the ground color, the brown, and then on top of that, applying the gray blue and then it just looks like El Greco painted it without any effort whatsoever. The ink painting process took four or five months, and then at the end of that, the final step is to apply varnish, and it gives the painting the final saturation, and all of the colors appear very rich. Before restoration, it had a weakness. There was not a lot of strength to the use of paint because it was damaged and overpainted. After the careful in-painting, uh, there was a strength to the brushwork. And it's amazing to see how strong the composition is. Simple, but very strong. This is an incredibly important El Greco. So to have it properly restored is very good for the Nelson, but also for the art lovers really around the world.